Hello everyone, it's your favorite faceless YouTuber here. How are you all doing? How have you been? I hope you're doing good. I am doing good. I hope you're doing good too. So, it's been a while I've posted my Abacus Finger Counting and um, this should be the fourth, this should be the fourth part of our Abacus Finger Counting and I hope you have been enjoying it. I hope you have been finding it captivating. Now, we are going to continue from where we stopped. In the previous lesson, oh, sorry, if you are a new subscriber, Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming to check out my channel. And um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Subscribe and share to your friends. For the returning subscribers, I really appreciate you. I really, really, really appreciate you. Now, yeah. So, in today's lesson, we're going to continue our abacus finger counting. And this is going to be the fourth part of our abacus finger counting. And in the previous lesson, we learned about the small friend formula, the addition, small friend formula addition. And we learned that to add one, you add five. And you take away four to add two you add five you take away three you to add three you add five you take away two so go and check it out i'm going to leave it in the description box the link to the um part three i'm going to leave it in the description box below so go and check it out so you get this if you don't watch the previous lessons you're not going to understand this lesson so in today's video we're going to be learning the add um small friend formula subtraction so it's just like the vice versa of um the small friend addition when you say the vice versa just turn it upside down because to add one you add five and you take away four but in this um lesson to take away one to remove one to subtract one you're going to take away five first and you add four you can see it's the other way around to take away one you take away five and you add four how did we get this we all know that five is equals to 1 plus 4 1 plus 4 is 5 so the rule about of mathematics now if you want to cross over to the equal to side here it's going to turn to minus and um so to take away this one you take away 5 first and you add 4 so that was how I got this formula I hope you're getting me so here to take away 2 you take away 5 first and you add What's the friend of two? That friend that can sacrifice itself for two is three. Because two and three gives five. Okay. So to take away three, you add five and you, you take away five. Sorry. You, to take away two or to subtract two, to minus two, to remove two, any one that you want to say, you, you take away five first and you bring up three, you add three. Here, to take away three, you take away five and you add two. Three and two are friends. Everything here is just vice versa. The moment you know one, the moment you understand one code, you get the remaining. So here, to take away four, you take away five and you add one. Do you understand? To take away five, you add. To take away one, you take away five, you add four. To take away two, you remove five and you add three. So just get this code. So we are going to answer this practice question so you understand better. Now. The first one here, I have 7 minus 4 plus 6 plus 1. 7, 5, 6, 7 minus 4. So let's go and check. Minus 4 to so minus 4, we're going to take away 5 first and we'll add 1. Because 1 wants to sacrifice. 5 wants to sacrifice itself for 4. Do you understand? And 1 will go up. So 7 minus 4, 5, 6, 7 minus 4 minus 5 plus 1. Or take away five, add one. The language you want to use, use the language you understand. Seven, five, six, seven, minus four, minus five, plus one, minus plus six, five, six. Yeah, so you observe that I changed this to minus because we have not gotten to that stage of um, tens. Because if I continue with this, I didn't remember that I was supposed to add minus to this so to make the question um go with what i want to teach you in this lesson so there's nothing wrong if it is plus one but we are beginners let's take ourselves as beginners so seven so sorry for that seven five six seven minus four you take away five you bring up one plus six five six minus one you bring down one the answer is five six seven eight second question 7 5 6 7 minus 2 you bring down 2 
minus 1. To minus 1, 1 is a friend of 4. So to minus 1, you bring down 5 and you add 4. Plus 5, plus 5. The answer is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. Minus 3, you bring down 3. 1, 2, 3. Minus 1 again. What is minus 1? Minus 5, plus 4, plus 5, 9. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Plus 2, to add 2. In the previous lesson, to add 2, you add 5 and you bring down 3. 1, 2, 3. Minus 6, you bring down 6. 5, 6. Plus 7, 5, 6, 7. The answer is 7. I hope you're getting me. It will sound or look complex if you haven't watched the first part or second part, third part. Don't jump to the fourth part. It will be looking like rubbish. What is she doing? So go and watch the previous lesson and understand the code. Eh? The only way you can understand the code is try to interpret it the way the way you would the way it will be easy for you. Eh? You can watch another video and be hearing you take yeah, minus five or you know things like that. But if I'm using you take away, you take away, I'm using Nigerian normal our to one to one accent. Or you remove or move. So just interpret it the way you understand it. That's how you get the code because it can be um uh, it can be confusing at times. So it's not complex. So this is for one, two, three, four, plus three. To add three in the previous lesson, two is the friend of three. So um three will go down for um two will come up for three, sha. So to add three, you add five and you break down two. One, two. The answer is seven. Minus six, you break down six, five, six, plus two, one, two. The answer is three. One, two, three, three. The last question I have here is nine minus three plus one minus two. Nine, this is nine. Minus three. One, two, three. I'm bringing down three. Plus one, plus one, minus two, minus two, five. So I hope you get this. I hope you understand. Please, just look at the practice questions very well. I'm bringing it closer to you. Look at it very well. Solve it. Practice very well. You'll find it's captivating. It's it's full of knowledge. It widens the knowledge. Teach your kids. Your kids can watch directly. And please stay glued to this channel. I am Life of an Educator in the Kitchen. And kindly subscribe to my channel. Until we meet, till we meet next time. Until we meet next time. Kindly take care of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Show me love by sharing. Share to your friends. Share to your families. And take care of yourself. Bye.